Good evening. Today we are going to talk about the things that I have learned in Mathematics 10 this school year 2020 to 2021. I have learned arithmetic sequences in series, patterns in sequences, trigonometry, counting theory, geometric sequences, polynomials, degree of polynomials, and measures of central tendency. Arithmetic sequence is a sequence of numbers such that the difference between the consecutive terms is constant. For instance, the sequence 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, etc. is an arithmetic progression with a common difference of 2. Example, find the 46th term of the arithmetic sequence 3, 8, 13, 18, 23, 28, 33, etc. So A equals 3 and D equals 5. A sub 46 equals 3 plus the quantity of 46 minus 1 times 5. 46 minus 1 is equal to 45. So this will be 3 plus the quantity of 45 times 5. 45 times 5 is equal to to 225 plus 3 so the, your answer will be 228 and next we have patterns and sequences patterns refer to usual types of procedures or, or rules that can be followed patterns are useful to predict what came or what might come after a set of numbers that are arranged in a particular order this arrangement of numbers is called a sequence. And the next one is trigonometry. Trigonometry is a branch of mathematics that studies relationships between side lengths and angles of triangles. And then we have counting theory. The counting theory or enumeration is the theoretical counterpart of everyday practical counting. Venn diagrams are used to describe events and in counting the number of outcomes in unions and intersections of events. And then we move to geometric sequence. Geometric sequence is a sequence of non-zero numbers where each term after the first is found by multiplying the previous one by, um, by a fixed. Non-zero number is called the common ratio. And next we have polynomials. Polynomials are algebraic expressions that consist of variables and coefficients. Variables are also called indeterminates. We can perform arithmetic operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and also positive integer exponents for polynomial expressions, but not division by variables. And now we move to the degree of polynomials. The degree of a polynomial is the highest of the degrees of the polynomial's monomials with its non-zero coefficients. The degree of a term is the sum of the exponents of the variables that appear in it, and thus is a non-negative integer. And last, we have the measure of central tendency. A measure of central tendency is a summary measure that attempts to describe a whole set of data with a single value that represents the middle or center of its distribution. There are three main measures of central tendency, the mode, median, and the mean. Each of these measures describes a different indication of the typical or central value in the distribution.